I don't know if y'all just heard this breaking news, but there's a new bailout bill coming out, introduced by House Democrats. And, yep, just as you may have guessed, it is gutter trash, just like the last few. I mean, I wish I could have come with some more exciting news, but let's check out what this, this new bill entails. All right, I don't wanna be too harsh, I'm gonna let you all judge. And this is reported by ABC News just um, earlier today at 3.31 p.m. This is House Democrats unveiled new three trillion. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I really every time I see that T when I'm reading shit about the corona, the uh, coronavirus bailout bills, I'm always thinking it's just because I don't have my glasses on. I'm not seeing correctly because I know I don't see a three trillion dollar relief bill when we still can't get UBI passed. And now Republicans are talking about a. A damn, oh, now we're concerned about the deficit. Boy, y'all weren't concerned about the deficit when y'all was giving the corporations four trillion damn dollars, but now you're concerned about the deficit. You're concerned about the deficit. Isn't that cute? Whew, three trillion dollars. Three trillion dollars, bro. But we can't afford Medicare for all, though. That's what they tell me, man. That's what they tell me. They said, yes, we can afford eight trillion or seven trillion to, the, to, to corporations who don't need the money to survive, by the way. But hey, UBI, it's too expensive. Single payer healthcare, no, 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 it's too much, too much. It's too much, people. All right, let's check what this article is talking about. <clears throat> House Democrats on Tuesday unveiled a massive three trillion coronavirus relief package, which includes another round of direct payments to Amer Americans designed to ease the pandemic efforts on the health care system and the economy. The Democratic leaders announced the House will vote to uh, vote on the gargantuan measure this Friday, leaving members with less than three days to pour over a 2,000 page bill. Y'all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I need y'all look at me real quick. I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret. I ain't never read a book over 300 pages. I don't, I don't never finish it. I'm like, I get the gist of it by now, okay? Also, if I did wanna read a book over 300 pages, I'm a very talented young man, I wouldn't be able to do it in three days. I got a real life to think about. Just like some of these uh, politicians have legislation to think about. Other legislation dealing with the coronavirus. Ladies and gentlemen, in what world would I trust a bill that the House Democrats try to get through in three days? That is over 2,000 pages. 2,000 pages. The last one was 800 pages and they tried to pass that in hours. So I guess maybe we should be a little thankful. I guess. But like, damn. I, there's no good in, there can't possibly be good intentions about around uh, uh surrounding a 2000 page bill that Nancy Pelosi wants to get passed in the, I mean shit if Nancy Pelosi wants to pass it it really get, bro how do you go from so 4 million was only 800 pages but now you've taken away a trillion and it's 2000 pages come on bro Come on, bro. I guess we're just supposed to go back to sleep. I don't know. Let's see what else I got to say about this. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi defended the cost on Capitol Hill. Y'all, this is the same Nancy Pelosi who talking about open up the marketplace so people can get Obamacare. Defending the cost of $3 trillion after she told us we can't afford to just give people free treatment and free testing. We can't afford to give people Medicare for all. We can't afford to give people UBI even right now. But let me justify giving $3 trillion in which the majority goes to corporations. Let's hear that bullshit justification, please. The chairman of the Federal Reserve Banks has told us to think big. Oh, my sweet Baby, you hear that again, ladies and gentlemen? You, did, you heard that, right? The chairman of the Federal Reserve Bank 
said, think big because interest rates are so low, Pelosi said. And when Nancy Pelosi was told to think big, she didn't think, man, this is the opportunity for me to actually get something for my constituents because now I'm even given the green light because the chairman of the Federal Reserve even said, think big, their interest rates are low. And so if there was ever a time to ensure that there are direct cash payments, reoccurring cash payments going to those who need it the most, this is the time. But when she heard think big, she thought, Let me uh, go ahead and give corporations some more money. Hmm. Stock market is doing fine, by the way. If you haven't heard. Record number bounce back. We're still poor. Unemployment rate is ridiculously high. And by the way, in this current climate, you are lucky if you are unemployed. Like the unemployment rate. Like if you could file for unemployment to even be registered in the unemployment rate. Why? Because the people who did not have a job, if they were in between jobs before this moment happened, they're screwed. If you were a stay-at-home parent prior to this, you're screwed. If you are having to take off work because now you have to be a full-time homeschool parent because of this pandemic and the quarantine, you're screwed because you still got to work. But now you just got to take care of your kids because you got to take less time. You, and you're probably not even getting that many hours anyway. Oh, God forbid you're an essential worker and they're just working you at just the right amount of time because they can't use you too much because they're not getting as much business. But they don't want to underuse you. They want to keep you right in that sweet spot. So y'all screwed too. Man. So when she heard Think Big... Is what she said. She said, uh, we intend to use those low interest rates to bolster the American people. We must think big for the people now, because if we don't, it will cost more in lives and livelihood later. Not acting is the most expensive course. What the f what does that mean? Because basically they have been not acting. And she is correct about one thing. Not acting has absolutely been the most expensive course. You keep acting, no pun intended, she acts like she cares, but they keep acting only in the sense that they want to keep giving corporations money and they keep, and the corporations keep burning through this money, but unemployment rate keeps soaring for some reason. I wonder why. Now, the article goes on to say that even if the measure clears the house on Friday, the vote is expected to be highly partisan and straight down party lines. That's interesting. Uh, there are roadblocks in the Senate where Republicans have said countless times now that they don't see the imminent, imminent need for another emergency relief package. I mean, I would agree in the sense that we don't need an emergency relief packet to be given to corporations. I agree with that. Um, but let's be honest, people. Let's be honest. This is gaslighting. They're going, hey, this is going to be... It's going to be voted on down party lines, y'all. And all of a sudden, all that money that these corporations are giving the Republicans and the Democrats, suddenly that money isn't going to buy votes the way it used to a week ago. <laughs> yeah, OK. Good luck with that. Um, now, the House is also expected to vote on a remote voting resolution Friday. Which does, which does not appear to have uh, Republican backing either. Now, according to the summary of the measure, the package would provide nearly... Tw hold up. First of all, I just want y'all to know, I hope y'all did not think I read, I read 2,000 bills in, or pages in 30 minutes. That was not happening. And I'm going to be completely and totally honest with you. It ain't happening when we're done with this live stream either because no goddamn bill that should simply be a payout, a, just a simple payout, should be 2,000 pages, reasonably. There's no way. So it ain't getting read. We're gonna look at the summary though. The summary's bad enough. <laughs> so according to the summary of the measure, the package would provide nearly 1 trillion in relief for state, local, and tribal governments. Of that amount, 500 billion would go towards states. 
That doesn't make any sense. Please explain this to me, people. I don't know what this means. According to the summary, the package would provide nearly $1 trillion in relief for the state and local and tribal governments, but $500 billion will go towards the states out of that $1 trillion. I thought the $1 trillion was going towards states, but whatever. Okay, whatever. Let's read some more nonsense. It will also include a round of direct payments of $1,200 per family member and up to $6,000 per household. Um, so basically the same thing, I believe, that we had last time. The package also extends unemployment benefits, ensuring the weekly $600 federal unemployment payments will continue through January 2021. Uh, the current extension is set to expire in July. It also provides $175 billion in new funding to assist renters, homeowners, and their monthly rent and mortgage payments. I have no idea what the hell that's going to look like. So you're giving $100 billion, $175 billion to debtors? Why not just suspend the rent? Also, not that I'm against giving $175 billion to debtors, um, but if you're going to do that, then suspend our rent. So they can't just screw us over, take the money and be like, okay, so you're still going to owe us some money. The f Come on, bro. All right. So this bill will also establish a $200 billion heroes fund for essential frontline workers, uh, ensuring those workers who risk their lives throughout the pandemic receive hazard pay. <laughs> How many of y'all actually believe they'll receive ha hazard pay? I'm I'm genuinely curious to see where that 200 billion is going to go. Also, I'm genuinely curious to figure out why it's only 200 billion dollars. That's what I'm curious. Are you curious as to why the people who have put themselves on the front front line for this virus that they said is absolutely deadly to be in front of and around all the time? Why there's only 200 billion in allocation for that? You know how many hospitals there are alone? Just hospitals full of nurses and doctors and RNAs and RNs and PAs and medical billing assistants, <laughs> secretaries, janitors, everybody in every single hospital around the country. You think 200 billion in hazard pay is going to be enough? We ain't talking about grocery stores yet. We're not talking about fast food restaurants. We're not talking about warehouse and distribution yet. We're not talking about gas stations yet. Just hospitals people just hospitals 200 billion is not even close to enough not even close to enough it's ridiculous 75 billion will go towards testing contact tracing and isolation measures it also provides 3.6 billion for contingency planning preparation and resilience of elections for federal office that's just a bunch of pork barrel bullshit. I'm be honest with y'all. Effectively, whatever plan that you do in the, during the coronavirus would probably cost less money than running a full scale election. Just saying. That's going to be a bunch of pork barrel bull. Just like that 700 million or something like that. Was it 300 million? 700 million. One of the two in California that was given uh, to bolster election integrity efforts that just. We all know what the hell that money was spent on because it wasn't for that. So, as you probably could have guessed, people, this legislation is some old baby back bull. I don't know what else to call it. It's not going to do what we needed to. Am I thankful once again for $1,200 a month? Yeah, I kind of knew this was coming because the original plan was to uh, reassess whether or not there would be another cash payment. But the problem is we didn't want to leave it up to a reassessment period because we know how our Congress does. We know that when they say reassess, they mean we're going to pay this out. So you shut the hell up. And then when it's time to reassess, we're going to hold out just long enough, just long enough until you quote unquote don't need it anymore or until another conversation begins to dominate, dominate the discourse and UBI or cash payments of any kind will be pushed to the wayside. That's what they're doing. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. All right. So I guess the, there's some there's some good to come out, right? The fact that there's more money being allocated towards testing. That's good. Don't have a problem with that. Um, 
the fact that uh, we have some hazard pay going out, that's good. Not even close to being good enough, but it's decent, right? So there's a silver lining, I guess, uh, making sure that unemployment rates stay as high as they do through 2021 because unemployment uh, will affect a lot of people through 2021. So that's good. Um, but overall, once again, this bill, I just, you notice how even in this summary, people, I said $3 trillion. I said $3 trillion, right? And this is what ABC tries to pull over our head. This is what the summary says. $600 billion, okay? $175 billion, okay? $200 billion, okay? $3.6 billion, okay? Just doing some quick uh, math wizardry. Counting them my Hey, y'all know I gotta count my fingers. I'm not good at counting my head. Uh, real quick, just to make sure y'all can check me on this one. That don't add up to, to three trillion. That don't add up to three trillion. So where 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 the other two trillion going? Where's the rest of the money going? And why is ABC News pretend and mind you? Think about this, y'all. Now, and everybody needs to remember today. Everybody, damn that. Like, share this video if you're watching right now, because this is extremely important to remember. I want everybody to remember this moment. And when you hear it, when you see it on Twitter, tag me, because we're going to debunk it right then and there. If you see it on Facebook, tag me. We're going to debunk it right then and there. If you see it on YouTube, you see, it, show me, send DM, because this is what we're about to talk about. All this time, y'all, the Democrats, AOC, Elon Omar, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer. They've all been pretending that it's been the Republicans dying to give these corporate bailouts. That's what they've been pretending, right? AOC gave that grandstanding speech. I'm tired of this. I'm tired. Oh, my God. Republicans. You Republicans are the ones who are causing these problems. It's you Republicans. AOC, we're waiting on that speech. We're waiting on that speech. We're waiting on that speech. Oh, yeah. Bernie Sanders. We're waiting on that speech. We're waiting to hear how you fought the Democratic menace. We're waiting to hear how you fought the corporatocracy. And you don't get to scapegoat Republicans this time. That's up for damn sure. You don't get to pretend like it was somebody else who introduced this corporate bailout. Not anymore. You shouldn't have been able to do it last time. But now, this is this is on wax, ladies and gentlemen. This is on paper. The only reason a ABC News isn't talking about the actual, um, the uh, corporate side of the bailout is because it was done by Democrats. Very clearly done by Democrats this time. It was done by Democrats the first time, too. But they've been able to scapegoat and scapegoat and scapegoat. Yeah, here we are. What's good? So y'all make sure y'all look at keep a lookout for me. I'm genuinely, I genuinely want to see what AOC has to say about this on Friday when they vote. I genuinely, I genuinely want to see where. You know, where the uh, objection is going to be. Let's see if she grandstands. Once again, it's about context. If she grandstanded and spoke out against this one or didn't grandstand and speak out against this upcoming one, then I wouldn't really care all that much. I would care from the perspective of an activist, but I'm saying as, as far as it pertains to AOC, I wouldn't care all that much because that she wouldn't have established a pattern of grandstanding at these very moments when she could blame Republicans. So whenever you have the chance to call out Nancy Pelosi, I hope you keep that same energy, AOC. I hope you keep that keep that same energy, Elon Omar. Keep that same energy, Bernie. Keep
Keep that same energy, Ro. If you like that segment of Mikasa and Sukasa, don't forget to like the video and smash that subscribe button. Want access to members only live streams, behind the scenes footage, and other premium content? Well, you can endorse us on Rockman Premium, become a patron through Patreon, or you can sign up for the MCSC Premium Membership through YouTube. All the links are in the description below. But hey, more than anything else, more than anything else, more than anything else, more than anything else, always remember, find your balance. 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 Always remember, more than anything else, find your balance. Peace.